So you applied for the summer jobs uh, grant this year and you saw the religious attestation and did you write anything? Did you mark an X or a check? Did you strike a line through it? How did you handle that demand that you submit to Justin Trudeau's uh, personal views? Well, I guess I can speak to that. Um, I was the one that filled in the application and, and you know, when I read the attestation, there's portions of it that I didn't disagree with, but there was the inner voice that said, um, a lot of this, it, it, the government really shouldn't be asking you these questions. Uh -huh. So because there's so much built into the attestation, um, there's a lot of aspects to it. So we sat on it a little bit. We talked about it. We decided to mail in our application without checking it. And uh, the government uh uh, responded and said that the application was incomplete. They gave us 10 days to fill it in. And um, and I res responded with an email um, informing them that we wouldn't be filling, uh, checking it because it was un unconstitutional for them to ask us. And uh, I take it they just rejected you after that and, and moved on and rejected uh, 1,400, 1,500 others in the same way. So it, it, that's sort of the end of the story, I presume, is that you wouldn't fill, you wouldn't check that box. And that was the only flaw in your application, I take it. They didn't object to anything else. No. Not that we're aware of. So uh, now I'm very pleased to hear that you've teamed up with the man I believe to be Canada's leading civil liberties lawyer, John Carpe of the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms. Tell me about the lawsuit in layman's terms. We'll be talking to John in a moment. But you connected with him, and what exactly are you demanding the government do? Well, we're, we're asking that uh, we're going to bat to get this wrong right. I mean, it's, it's not constitutional to do this. Um, you know, we're... We're just disgusted by this situation. I mean, our freedoms were built on people's backs that, you know, went to war and died for our country. And our, our freedoms have just been being whittled away, both by f uh, federal and provincial governments. And enough is enough. Yeah. So it's not a matter of not getting that, that funding. That's not a make or break for us, as it is some people that weren't granted it. It's a matter of fighting for our freedoms. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.